if you have existing pages on your on your website and you're not interested in renaming them, and I would actually advise against renaming files unless they're very new, because you know once files are, once you, your files your website pages are spidered in the search engines, if you start renaming them, the search engines are gonna they're going to come across a lot of missing files because, you know, you've obviously renamed them. So it's not a good thing to do. It's best to keep the file names the same if you can. And what I'm going to talk you through here is a way of adding RSS to HTML feed to an HTML file. Let's say you've got a file called demo.html and you want to add an RSS to HTML feed without resorting to using an iframe. So, okay, what I'm going to do, if I go to QFTP, I've got demo.html here. If I right click and choose view, you can see here again the bare bones of an HTML file, but I'm actually using the PHP method of including the, the RSS feed into the page, of adding the RSS feed into the page. And generally, if you're using PHP in a file that ends in .html, it just won't work. You know, the PHP, the PHP code will be ignored. However, as mentioned, it's recommended you, do, you don't change file names, especially if they're already spidered in the search engines. So to add the, this PHP functionality to a, a file, a, a web page that ends in .html, you can do this. And again, this is pretty advanced, and you may want to do your own research into this, and you may want to ask your web host about it. And your web, again, you know, you may want to ask your web host because your, your website will need to be able to support HT access, and therefore it should run on a on a patchy web server. And as I keep saying, if this doesn't mean much to you, either do more research on it, ask your web host, or ask somebody else to do it. But the way I've done this is using this .htaccess file. I've uploaded this file into the same folder as demo.html, as you can see. And it's just two lines. This line, I've... Well, this line is specific to me. It, it may be specific to you, but basically this makes, makes sure the PHP runs successfully for this page. So let's put this aside for now. The one we're really interested in here is this one. Again, this may be slightly different for you. Do your own research, test, test this out, or ask your web host. But as you can see, add handler. You don't need to know exactly what it is, but add handler, application, etc., etc. Basically, what it does, it runs a file ending, it runs a, a web page ending in .html as a PHP file. So that's what it does. Generally, if you've got an HTML file, or a .html file, any PHP in it is ignored. What this does is specifically tells your web server, the web server your pages are on, to act with any web pages ending in .html as if they were .php files. So that's pretty much it. I've uploaded that .htaccess file as you can see, to the same folder as the demo.html file. And even though the file ending in .html has this PHP in it, because of that HT access file, it behaves just as if this was a PHP file and therefore runs this code. And by running this code, as you can see, even though it's demo.html, this feed is automatically added to the page, and if we do view source, because we're using the PHP method of adding the feed, it actually appears as part of the page, rather than an iframe, which appears as a page within a page, which search engine spiders don't, they don't like as much as this method, which actually adds the content to the web page directly. 
So that's one tactic you may want to bear in mind for adding adding PHP functionality to .html pages, and specifically in this instance, using the PHP method to add feeds, RSS feeds, directly into your HTML pages. And actually, I, sh I should add, specifically in this case, from feeds created at RSS to HTML.